And um, of course, the child is praying for expecting some answer or expecting some protection for, for himself, for, for life, for his beloved ones, for his relatives, for uh, wives, children, friends, and so on and so forth. And, but I can't, I can't tell if I'm praying someone, invisible, transcendent one, or if I'm praying precisely uh, these other ones in myself that I want to address uh, out of love and for their, the protection of, of their lives. Now, the, I'm already too long. Now, there is at the same time some, some uh, suspension of any expectation, of any economy, any calculation, any calculation. I'm not expecting, I'm not hoping, it's a hopeless prayer on the one hand, totally, totally hopeless. And I think this hopelessness is part of what a prayer should be. And on the other hand, I know that there is hope, there is calculation, there is economy, but what sort of economy? Is it the economy of the child or, or my own economy as an old, old man? Uh, by the way, if, if I accept to answer to some extent Jack's question, something I, should, uh, I wouldn't have done some years ago, is probably because growing old, I am more of a child than when I was younger. So I say, well, now perhaps I might run the risk of saying something confidential in front of, a, of such a, an audience. So the calculation, if there is a calculation, and obviously there is a calculation, despite the uncalculable hopelessness that I mentioned earlier, there is a calculation. That calculation, if I wanted to, to describe it uh, briefly, would, be, would take the, the following uh, form. I know that praying in that way, even if there is no one God in the form of a father or mother or receiving my, my prayer, I know that by this act of praying in, in the desert, out of love, out of love, out of love, because I wouldn't pray otherwise, uh, something might be already good in myself, like a therapy in some way. I know that by doing this, I um, I um, try, not necessarily succeed, but I try to, uh, uh, to affirm and to, and to accept, to accept something in myself, which won't do, won't do any harm to anyone, especially to me. The, 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 the impression that I, that I do something good uh, to myself, that's the calculation, and by the same token, to my beloved ones. If, if, if through this prayer, I am a little uh, uh, better and reconciled, and, 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 and uh, 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 if I give up every, any calculation, because of this calculation about, uh, uh, around the incalculable, I can become better for myself, Narcissi narcissi narcissistically, but to become better narcissistically is a way of uh, loving in a better way, of being more lovable for our beloved ones. So in, that's a calculation. It's a calculation which tries to integrate the incalculable. And this, when I pray, it's, it's a mixture of all these in the same instant, the same words or same gestures. Uh, it, I, I experience a sort of strange, strange experience in which my, the, the Judaism of my childhood, my experience as a philosopher, as a quasi-theologian, 
uh, the, all the texts I've read from Plato to, to St. Augustine to, to, to Heidegger to some, uh, are, they are there. They are, they, they, they constitute my world, the world in which my prayers praise, okay? And um, that's the way I pray, uh, sometimes, sometimes in a given and, and uh, uh, let's say, fixed moment in, in, in the day, sometimes anywhere, at any moment, for instance, now. I, I should say.